Good evening, I'm Jack Cottle. It is election day here in the Black Hills. People are heading to the voting booth today and casting the ballot for Rapid City's new mayor as well as new city council and school board members. Laura Armstrong, Brad Estes, Josh Lyle, Jason Solomon and Ron Weifenbach are running for mayor after current mayor Steve Allender announced he will not be seeking re-election. We won't know what the voter turnout is until the ballots are counted, but in the last 20 years, around 8 to 15,000 people cast votes in mayoral races. One of the lowest turnouts was in 2009 when just 5,398 people voted. The largest turnout in that time was 2015 when 15,850 people voted. That was current Mayor Steve Allender's first win against incumbent Sam Koiker. We spoke to some of the voters who turned out today. Because it's their right. If they don't vote, they shouldn't complain. You know, if you're concerned about your city and stuff like that and what's going on, you need to be here to vote, to, to select a mayor, councilman, whatever it is you're voting on. Those are very important to what's going on in our city. I think it's important for their community. Um, you know, when you vote, you essentially are building the community based on what you believe or what the person you're voting for believes. The polls open today at 7 a.m. And if you Kevin haven't cast your ballot yet, there is still time as the polls do not close until 7 p.m. this evening. Be sure to tune in tonight at 10 for the most up to date results and full election coverage right here on Coda Territory News. Well, it's a beautiful day for voters to get out to the polls.